Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the painting class. It's been a while since we've been painting, man. Um, just uh, got tired of waiting for this COVID to be over. So we're gonna try this, see if it works, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We will appreciate your feedback to this. Uh, today we're gonna paint a wagon wheel. Of course, I've painted it a couple times now. Uh, and you can see the difference. Every time you paint something, it, you, it's gonna be different. So yours will look different from mine. Um, the kit will include a stencil and the brushes. Uh, this is the set of brushes you'll have, so I'm going to paint with them also, so I, we get the feel for what we can do. Normally we don't paint with a sponge brush, but because there's not a really large brush in this set, we're going to use the uh, sponge brush to do our background. The paints I'll be using today uh, is, this is a blue, it's, this is cobalt hue. There's all different kinds of uh, blues. You just kind of get a fairly true blue. Uh, we'll do white. I've got two different greens. I've got a citrus green and a classic green. You do not have to get these exact colors. Uh, this is the burnt sienta, and then black. Uh, these are available at uh, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, any of them. Uh, I've got two different brands here. Uh, I do tend to like the folk art and the uh, Americana. Uh, Walmart has an apple barrel. I think a couple of other places have apple barrel. It's a thinner paint, so it's not going to cover as well. So. Uh, Fairly inexpensive. Uh, you just uh, will. You'll see how I mix colors to get different hues of the color that I want. Okay, so we're going to first start off. We're going to start with our uh, sky. I'm going to kind of eyeball my canvas. I want about two thirds of, of sky. So I'm going to get some blue and white. All right, so. I'm going to just kind of mix it through. You do want to get the canvas kind of covered. I'm not going to take the time to do my sides, but I usually do the sides. Now, we, uh, I'm going to pick up just a little more white without picking up, uh, painting, uh, mixing, or cleaning my brush because I want to get a little cloud like feel in here. And so I want to leave some of the streaks in there. So make it kind of a cloudy day. And you notice I'm doing very long streaks. I don't, um, whether it's, uh, I do little short streaks right here, trying to make sure my paint, my canvas is covered. But then I'll take long strokes all the way across to get a, a continuous look. I'm going to go a little bit darker down here on the horizon. Okay, so then I'm, now I'm going to get my brush cleaned. Actually, I'm not going to take the time to clean the brush. I'm going to grab another one. All right. So now I'm going to start with my grass. I'm mixing kind of got two colors on here because you don't have the same color all the way across. Uh, you know, we've got lots of different shades. So I kind of use the thin side and I get a nice horizon line. And then I just start picking up paint. And with the sky, you want kind of smooth, but the grass, you might leave it a little, you know, chunky. Uh, you might do a little shorts if you want texture. And a lot of this will get covered up. See, I, there we go. I'm going to kind of texture mine today. Kind of rough it up so it's 
And you can do with this, with, if you're using a brush, you can do the same thing with the brush. Okay, so see, you've got totally different paintings. Now, we've got to take a break so I can dry my painting. Um, Y'all will do the same, all right? All right, once you've got your canvas and you're sure it's real dry, you'll take your template, and you can kind of set it to however you want. Uh, I kind of used, filled up most of the, the canvas with it. So I'm going to take it right here, and then lightly with a pencil, draw out. You don't have to be real exact. Okay. Because paint will always cover up. And always when you're doing a template, it's best to hold it in one place. You can pull up and see I missed a line right there. That way you can make sure you have everything drawn out. Okay. So now I'm ready to use, get my brown out Oops. and a little bit of black. So to start off with, I'm going to use this flat uh, brush. Look, I've got paint all over myself. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to mix, I'm going to start with a burnt sienna, mix in a little bit of white and a bare touch of black because black goes very far. You know, you're using more white. I just kind of want to mix it. I want kind of a wood look, kind of an old gray, grayish wood. And I'm going to start with the inside of the, the wheel. So I want it darker right now. I'm going to use it a little more. Okay, and then I'm just going to start. And I, if you'll notice, I'm going to always try to do long strokes that kind of keeps, actually it helps with your control of your, your brush. Don't matter, it doesn't matter if you go over the lines a little bit, you just wagon wheel be just a little bit tighter. Actually I'm using more black than I normally would. So I kind of want to come all the way around. Okay, I can come in and put a few little streaks in here if I want. To kind of rough it up and then I'll blend it in just a little bit. But that gives just a little extra sh shadow and depth. Okay, so now I'm going to want that same color, just kind of mix up a little more, a little less black, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come, and I'm going left, to, because I'm a left-hander, I'm going this way. It's whatever's easier for you. You can already see how different the wheel, the colors are. This is a little more in the brownish. Last time, 
kind of did a little more grayish. And what you, if you want it more grayish, you would start with your black and your white and then add a little bit of the brown in it. So I'm going to go to the center of the wheel. And see how I'm making the long, I'm just letting my brush naturally, I'm just kind of curving my hand and letting the, the brush kind of go in a natural circle. That way you, it gives you the lines. Like I don't want to just go straight across like this. Oops, damp a little There we go. Um, because then that that wouldn't be a good wood grain or anything. You, when you're painting, you do kind of want to uh, go in the direction that the lines would naturally go, say in nature or whatever you're doing. So here, I'm not going to go brush, brush, little strokes like this. I'm going to come out. I'm going to go straight out. And I want it a little bit lighter through here. I do like that. But I'm just going to come and make a curve. That way, that's going to put... Put the spoke going into the wheel. I did make little short strokes there just to get my curve good. Okay, so we're going to do this with each one. I'm going to start this time with the little short stroke in the curve. Then I'm going to pull. I'm going to come all the way down. If you've got enough paint on your brush, it'll it, it uh, you just have better control. I, it's, I'm hard to for me to describe how that it is. Now I'm going to go around this one more time. All the way around. Okay. I've got a few little pencil marks, but I'm not going to worry about those. Now for the center, I'm going to kind of go real dark, like it's a, a peg. Well, probably darker. See, I'm just doing little short twists all the way around until I kind of get. Now I'm putting black on the outside edge of my brush and hopefully it's going to put like a dark shadow right around the edge. Well, I've kind of got a little lopsided. It's kind of hard doing it to get sideways. So let me try to clean this up just a little bit. All right, we're going to leave it at that. Now, because this kind of looks flat, I'm going to go back. Not really wash my brush. I'm just going to dry it so it's more of a dry brush. And that's going to leave more kind of a, a streak feeling. If your brush is wetter, you're going to get more of a uh, blended colors. So I'm going to just kind of go through and bring that up. I don't want real strong lines, so I'm just going to kind of go over to Try to blend it some, but not totally. Okay. I'm okay with that. It's not, not the best, but, you know, it's different every time. This is a little bit too white, so I'm going to carefully go over that a little bit. All right. Okay, so I think we're done with that. Again, you're going to want your wheel to be good and dry before we start with the blue bonnets. So I'm just going to, we don't have to shut it off. I'm going to hit it with the dryer just for a little bit to make sure this area is good and dry. 
We're not going to go up in here, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just let it dry naturally. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I'm going to do, again, we want different shades of green. Uh, this one I didn't put quite as much. I actually added a little bit of black and got a real dark green and uh, the blades of grass. But I'm going to start off at the bottom. Let me get a couple oops. Get in a comfortable position because you want to kind of start at the bottom and you're going to follow through and come out and kind of turn your brush so that the, and as you come to the top, you want to take the pressure off your brush uh, because it'll uh, help it uh, to kind of come up to these little narrow points like a blade of grass. So here we go. Well, I'm going to have to add a little black. Okay, and I'm not going to go over this one again, just because when you try to go over the exact same spot, it, it doesn't work too well. So I'm just going to start at another section, and I, I pull up. bit more black, a little darker down here at the bottom. See how just that little touch of black, I'm not even blending it so much, but it's adding just a different uh, little touch. Just enough green so we know it's a blade of grass. There we go. Okay. Let me get one more going up here. I'm going to there we go. All right, so I'm going to let this dry now. Painting is a lot of paint and wait. <laughs> okay, because I'm not, once I, we start making the blue bonnets, you don't want your uh, greens, your paints to blend. So I'm going to dry again, and that's my, my paint is a little bit thick on the grass blade, so it may take a little while. We're going to start on our blue bonnets now. And I'm using a kind of a small, medium small round brush. Because we're first going to do just some little dabs, kind of right at the top. So I'm going to start wherever, it doesn't matter where. You see I put a bunch of blue bonnets in this one. Fewer in here. It's all how you want your painting to look. Uh, so what I always say is, you know, it's you, make it yours. Make it up. Make it, uh, it's your expression or your interpretation of the painting. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to just start right here. And see, I'm just kind of making little pats. All right. So we're just going to make a little dabs, and I'm just going to kind of come down. And see, I'm kind of doing it a little bit random. Okay, then I'm going to pick up a little bit of white. White's kind of, okay, and in the same place, while the paint's a little bit wet, I'm just going to kind of come in and paint, do the same thing with the white. And it's going to kind of blend in. You know, some will, you'll still see some of the white, but then you'll, you're going to get a, a light, some light, different shades of blue. And we're going to go back over it again. This is where you can, you know, start one and then go to another one. In a, a paintbrush, which is in the red. So you could do uh, yours red, or you could do some blue and some red. Uh, I didn't bring any red with me, but that would be an idea, because usually 
if you've ever gone to the highways of Texas in blue, during blue bonnet time, you do see uh, a lot of the reds also. I'm getting a little bit muddy right here in the, in the middle, so I'm going to I need to back off a little bit. So I'm going to come back to that one in just a minute. I'm going to go work on this one again a little bit more. Again, you kind of want to go follow what along the lines of a, the flowers, uh, kind of they kind of reach up to the sky. Uh, that didn't make sense, but anyway. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you don't want to be, you don't want to go dab, 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 because you like, Actually, I did kind of almost there. I got too much of a rope. Uh, and yeah, that happens a little bit, but usually it's never real uh, regimented, I guess, uh, what I'm saying in nature. It's a little bit more loose and free. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and put a little bit of white in here. So um, the thing on the blue bonnet sheet is you kind of have to go over it, over it, giving it a chance to dry in between. So I'm going to go over here. Oops. And you notice I've, I have not cleaned, washed my brush or cleaned it up. I just keep on picking up different. There we go. Now that's, that's why I'm liking that now a lot. See how I've gotten, I've got all your different shades of blue and the white in there at the same time. That kind of adds more interest. So I think I'm going to get one real tall one. I'm going to go up here. And the trick I learned uh, when I worked at a florist shop, uh, when I did photography, is you kind of have to, you want to think of uh, triangles, okay? So you, the, it helps the eye to move. Uh, if you put everything just, you know, in a row, or almost like, well, make it almost like one, two, three, four, make a square. Your eye doesn't move quite as naturally as if I'm looking here, I go up, my eye comes down here. And it, I'm not saying make one big triangle. Your eye can move to make different triangles. That's a, I, that may not be quite how it's spoken because I am not a professional. You're getting what you pay for. <laughs> um, but that's what, uh, when I started photography, that's what the person who was helping me learn photography and composition talked to me about. She probably said it a lot better than I did. And you don't want your, your uh, flowers to all be the same size. It's okay for them to be a little bit different. You want them to be uh, different. Okay. Let me go back and put a little more dark in here. And if you want real dark, you could probably add a little bit of, oops, that's got green in it. You might could add a little dark black if you've got some clean black. I really don't. Kind of used it up. Okay, 
I'm probably going to leave mine just like that again. Okay, that's what I think. I'm going to leave mine just like that. Uh, you know, I just thought, you know, you might want to uh, go back and put little streaks of grass through here if you want. Again, make it your own. Uh, okay, for the stem, I'm going to kind of go real light. I might actually put a little bit of white in the green. And this you don't want to really, doesn't have to be, this one's kind of sitting there. The, uh, these almost look like they already have a stem, so I'm not going to worry about them so much. This one needs a bit of a stem, so I'm just going to kind of come in and lightly pull down. Not all, actually going all the way to the bottom. Okay, that one. So that just kind of, and I don't want to get too close to this because it is still damp. Okay, so now that I've come through, I think I'm going to come through with a little bit more leaves, some of the lighter ones. And again, I'm not going, if I come up off it, I'm not going to come back and go over it again. Just kind of break this up a little bit. There we go. That kind of gives you dark to the back and brings the light forward, gives you some good depth of field. There we go. Kind of make sure they go off the page, off the canvas. So, like I said, you could come up. I'm going to just, I'm just for fun. I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to put a little bit of grass over here. Not a lot, but just kind of, you just want to kind of come off from the, Wagon, you don't want to come on the wagon so much. I guess it could curl over on the wagon a little bit. There we go. So I might kind of do that and kind of. And you might want to paint maybe a little bit, you know, a small blue bonnet right there. Uh, just to be different. Again, it'll kind of, it could bring your eye over. Now, if you do too much, It'll kind of, uh, you don't want to do too much back here because it is back further. So I'm going to leave it with that.